All right, so welcome to the first J Stern Design sewing adventure. Um, my husband got me this Gorilla Pod so I can safely anchor my new camera on the dashboard of my car and I can talk to you for a second while I'm driving. Um, I'm on my way to Rhode Island, to East Greenwich, to the East Greenwich Club to teach Jeans at Workshop. And on the way, I'm gonna stop in the middle of nowhere diner to get my yummy breakfast sandwich. Um, and then we'll be off to class. So welcome, and this is gonna be a super fun adventure. So here I am at the middle of nowhere diner. I'm gonna run in and get my breakfast sandwich and I will be right out. <laughs> All right, so I suppose I should let you peek at my breakfast sandwich. Mmm. I'll eat it when I get there. Okay, so here's my wonderful class, um, Gene Fit Workshop in Rhode Island. And everybody is working on various stages of the waistband or finishing the facing of the waistband or sewing things together or ripping apart. Somebody pulled the pool off their zipper, but we're fixing it. Um, and someone else had a binding issue, but we're fixing it. So everything's going along hunky-dory. So we're gonna check in with you a little later when we actually have some beautiful jeans to show. They're very busy, so they don't have time to talk. This is true. This is true. So I'm just gonna draw my line. So we're not bad, because it didn't no. Like that. The yeah. part okay. And then we want to figure out where the um, hard part of the pool is, which is right there. So I'm just going to make a little mark there so we know not to sew there. Yep. We're just going to draw a nice curve at the bottom. Freehand? Yep. Yep. So I would sew from here up. Go from here up. Okay. That way you won't push down and make a wrinkle right there. Okay. All right. So that's how you're going to sew that. Okay. Terrific. Yay. Thank you. Okay. You can see that's nice and lovely. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to finish the ends. Fold it up to meet the front of the jean, like this. Okay, so we're going to fold it neatly like that. And we're going to give it a very serious press job. Ooh. Press it like you mean it. We're pressing it like you mean it. Facial. Yep, facial. And then this just gets pressed down like this. Doesn't that look lovely? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do on this side is we're gonna turn it under <coughs> like we did on the opposite side. Okay, I'm gonna give it a good steam -o. Then we're gonna press it down, fold that up. See how I folded that mm -hmm. the top of the binding up that little bit and then have it blend back like this. You see how that works? So if it's too high here because of the zipper, like if you want the zipper teeth to show all the way at the top, <coughs> fold your binding under at the very end, and then you press it like that, and then you let it fold back like that. Okay, so see what it does? It kind of comes back out. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. And we can do it again. I would fold it under a little bit more so this isn't showing. Did, did you sew up the zipper before that? Yeah, now here's the thing. You can take the teeth out at the seam or you can leave them in and hand walk it. If you hand walk it, your needle will find the way to go. Yeah. Okay, so it's good to take the teeth out and it's good not to take the teeth out. Yeah, that's all right, but that's how you finish that. Excellent. All right, excellent. Nancy tried these on and they were too big across the back. So we're gonna take in the back at the side seam. So let me show you how to do that. I offset the seam so the back stuck out about three quarters of an inch on both sides. So there's one side. Because you can use that with your And here's the other side. And you can see that's how much we have to get rid of at the top to make it fit nice around the, um, the small of her back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off the back, but we're not going to cut anything off the front. I'm just going to cut this yeah, off. Okay. So now when we sew this back up, we're going to match the original side seams on the front, and we have gotten rid of that. Okay, so again, I'm going to take off 
and I'm just going to blend back to zero, okay? And then I'm just going to trim it off. So you're doing this because these pants have a yoke and that's stretching them? I'm doing this because the, the yoke was too wide and you want it to be feel comfortable. So we're just snugging it up in the back a little bit. Very good. We're having fun with the seam ripper, part of class. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, for the first time in my life, I'm going to want to wear a shirt and show off my waistband. Woohoo! <laughs> and we're going to tuck it underneath this seam allowance of the waistband, like that, to make a nice, smooth finish. Very good. Beautiful facing. But look how lovely those fit. I know, they feel good. You did a really, really nice job. <laughs> I am so <laughs> amazed. <laughs> look how nice those look. As you can see, my class is working really, really hard and they're getting some really nice jeans. Stay tuned for some more. I love these pockets. These are the best pockets and when I get my back pockets on, they'll be even better. But I love these pockets. She's got her white summer jeans ready to go. Ready they look go. wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Mickey who made the beautiful t-shirt that I featured on my blog last week. These fit so well, Mickey, that I have to reach in to get to the back so I don't prick you. Do that, you'll be <laughs> into your skin. All right. See. Let's do it like that. All right, so there's... I think that's a better distance. Let's yes, look from the I, side. I agree. Let's turn this way for one second. I just want to see. Okay, so that's how we'll look from there. Let's. Yeah. I'm going to move this one over and let's see. <laughs> look at her pockets. Mm -hmm. All right, see, they're down there. Yeah, Who else yeah. has jeans on? Come over. First. Okay, so see, hers are, well, but it's... They're a smaller pocket. The yoke, All you got to do is look at it. <clears throat> uh, Jen had the guts to have me oh. take one and a half off oh, the right. side seams right. from waist all the way down and the results are... Oh. Great, they fit the crotch length. It's nice. It's my tuchus. Look so. at her tuchus. <laughs> Doreen is going to be two and two and an eighth inch from the top stitching on both sides, and she's going to be a half an inch from the yoke. Plus, she's going to hem the tops one full inch. Okie doke. Excellent, Doreen. If you have obvious top stitching, I mean an obvious seam and you can't really see your top stitching, it's almost better to bring the pocket that's farther away from the seam in about a quarter inch. So instead of making these two measurements equal, bring the right pocket in just a little bit so visually it doesn't look like it's farther away. This pocket is closer to the actual seam. And then this pocket is equally close to the top stitching, but you can't see it. So to make it look more even, just bring the, the pocket that looks farther away in about a quarter of an inch. These jeans are a perfect fit. <laughs> They're way better than my J. Jill's that I wore today. Well, Very I'm nice. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. I like the straight leg. Oh, let, let's show a little bit of the inside. Ooh, let me zoom in on that. Very nice job. Thank you. I owe it all to my teacher, my designer, my <laughs> mentor, Jennifer Stearns. Okay, you're fine. Just pretend I'm not here. I, I don't like my unsquared points. All right, well, maybe we can turn it right side out again and I can show you how to make it more square. Okay. All right. All right, so here's our before with our unhappy corners. All right, so here's why the corners did not look sharp. The points need to be trimmed a little bit more. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to trim to a quarter. And then I'm really going to trim this corner. You really want to get in there and trim it like that. What do you think of that? 
It's excellent. Excellent. It's not even pressed yet. I know. Too bad it's only one. Because now I have to do a second. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. We have faith in you. <laughs> yeah. Um, this I'm not pleased with. The twist. Why did it do that? I don't know. Here's Mickey's back pockets finally sewn on. Yay, very nice. She's all ready for summer. Yay, look what a good job you did. All by myself after your tutelage. Very good. Thank you. All right, so Mickey was not happy with her waistband and we've diagnosed the problem, so let's share that. So this, this, is, this is what's happening. Yep. Okay, and this is caused by the lining on this side, which was not cut on the bias. Okay, so what is what is the fix for this? You live with it or you put a new facing. <laughs> okay, so for the next pair, what are you gonna do? I'm going to cut on the bias. All right, so yes. if your waistband's on the bias. Your the, lining has to be on the bias So it well. stretches and gives the same way. Yes, and that's, I, I'm thinking that's the If that's your waistband what, yeah. wasn't on the bias and your facing's not on the bias, you should be fine? Right. It's only if one thing is stretching, Stretch. the other one's got to stretch, and the too. other one is, in, and they're the same shape. You sort of have; they have to go together, so it's fighting. Does yep. The oh, they're the fighting. Piece? They're fighting. Um, this group was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see what happens next week when everyone finishes. All right. So I hope you enjoyed um, a sneak peek of my Gene Fit workshop. Um, I think it was a fun sewing adventure, and. Um, if you have any questions about the tips or techniques that you saw in this workshop, please let me know. And if your group is interested in having me come teach a workshop, you know, I'd love to hear from you and I can tell you all the juicy details. So, in any case, have a nice day and I'll see you next time at J Stern Designs.